thing, though, city police are investigating a seemingly unending string of car break-ins happening near entertainment venues across the city. Tonight, Fox News' Mallory Thomas talked to people who were attending the Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock show at the Enterprise Center about what they're doing to make sure they don't become a victim of a car break-in. Some of the people out here say one of the things that they are doing is parking in the parking garages instead of out in the street or in the empty parking lots. City police are investigating car break-ins happening at various entertainment venues from over the weekend. Here at the Enterprise Center, some people are taking extra measures because of the recent break-ins. I park yeah, I where it's, it's 20 bucks. It's I think the 20 bucks yeah, is where better. you should park. Yes. I mean, if, I mean, maybe you get a free car, it's a rental car, no big deal. But if it's your car, $750 window, Ooh, $20, not so bad. Andreas Broussard says, unfortunately, the car break-ins is something St. Louis is familiar with, which is why he chooses to park in venue garages. He says the cost is less of a headache than worrying about a break-in. You have to pay to park. That's just a cost you have to factor in with the ticket, going out to dinner, all that stuff costs. You have to pay. It's no free ride. Even with parking, you're going to have to pay. If you want be secure and safe. City police are looking into recent car break-ins at the Grove, Del Mar Hall, and City Foundry. That's where police say they heard gunshots in a parking lot while investigating car break-ins. They say a person leaned out of a car and fired a rifle in the direction of three teens and two officers. They say the teens took off running. Police caught up with the teens and found two handguns, one of which was reported stolen. Officers say that one of the handguns also had an auto sear, which turns it into a fully automatic weapon. In St. Louis, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.